how to send an IM message without the typing bubble showing or without showing your typing status. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from HelpTech and in this tutorial video, I will show you the way as to how you can send an IM message without your typing status. But before we get started with the video, if you're new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button without any further ado or delay, let's get started with today's video. Now unfortunately, there is no option to disable the typing bubble feature, but there are still a few different ways you can avoid showing the typing bubble when you are sending an iMessage. The first way is to first launch the messaging app and open a new chat thread from the top right corner of the screen. Do not select the recipient just yet. What you want to do is from the bottom, you have to go ahead and simply enter your text or the message that you want to send. Once you enter your message, now you can go ahead and search for the recipient to whom you want to send the message to. Once you select the recipient, what you can do is now just go ahead and send that particular message over here. As you do that, this person will not be able to view your typing status. The other way, however, is to disconnect yourself from the internet. So before you go ahead and type anything, swipe down your fingers from the top right hand side to enable the control center. Once you do that, I would recommend you to turn off Wi-Fi and turn on airplane mode. As you turn on airplane mode, now come back to the iMessage screen. Just go ahead and then enter another message that you might want to send over here. Once you enter your message, what you want to do is again swipe down. Now you can go ahead and then connect yourself to the internet by disabling the internet mode as well. Now what you could do is after you enter your message, tap on the send button. And this will basically hide the iMessage typing status whenever you're chatting with someone on your iPhone. Hopefully this video helped you in either way and at least give you some insights. But keep in mind that there isn't an official privacy setting to do this. We hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any more questions, queries or doubts, make sure to also leave them down. Thank you very much for watching till the end of the tutorial and see you soon in our next video.